This video is meant to be a quick reminder about a sensible and physics-based explanation for the South Atlantic anomaly, one that doesn't require interpretation of Earth's core soundings based on earthquake waves going through them. However, we must begin with the magnetic poles. For those who are just joining the program, both north and south magnetic poles are moving. The south pole is well ahead in terms of motion, having already left Antarctica, but the north is moving much faster, racing across the Arctic Ocean. As this is happening, Earth's magnetic field is weakening as well. Let's take a close look at the pole motion. The north isn't really bending, that's just how it looks on a rectangular projection. The red is where it is going into the future, and the other colors are what has happened so far. And its path here would have it heading down through Siberia towards the Indian Ocean. The south magnetic pole is slowly traipsing up into those waters already and is on a line to meet somewhere in the ocean there, but exactly where is tough to say. One thing is for sure. The South Atlantic anomaly is found on the opposite side of the planet. This anomaly, the blue asterisk, is a weak point in Earth's magnetic field, exposing the region to higher levels of cosmic rays and charged particles from the magnetosphere and Van Allen belts during CME impacts. I have recently received an increase in emails asking about it since the release of our summary video on Earth's ongoing magnetic reversal, and obviously since the longer video fully detailing what to expect, energy from space. The questions tend to revolve around the concept of why it is weakening, and often the emails are accompanied by a link to a paper about core or mantle characteristics beneath the South Atlantic anomaly. Well, there are certainly plenty of those papers that exist, but a much better explanation involves the magnetic field effects over distance. As you move a magnet closer to metal, the more you feel the tug. The further you go from the magnet, the less attractive force is there to be overcome. This is the first thing young children learn when playing with magnets. It just so happens that the point where the magnetic poles are set to meet is the exact opposite spot in the world from the South Atlantic anomaly, and indeed, both magnetic poles are moving further away from that point. Why would one expect not to see a drop in magnetic fields there if the magnetic poles are moving away? And why would one need to go searching for another explanation? Remember, we've never actually been more than a fraction of the way through the crust. The mantle and core are still largely a mystery, and there is mainstream science-based explanations for the South Atlantic anomaly that are not mentioned in one single piece of the journal literature. Links to those videos we showed can be found below. Subscribe for updates 365 days a year. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.